January 2nd, 1956, Michigan State appeared in the Rose Bowl for the second time. With only seven seconds remaining, the Spartans and UCLA were tied 14 to 14. But up stepped a 20-year-old youngster by the name of Dave Kaiser, who booted a 41-yard field goal to give Michigan State an electrifying 17 to 14 victory. One observer noted that Pasadena is close enough to Hollywood to suspect that some writer had planned the whole thing. But the finish was improbable even for a Hollywood production. It was the first field goal Dave Kaiser had ever kicked in college competition. Michigan State really emerged as a football power in 1951 under Coach Boogie Munn. On November 10th, before a nationwide television audience, they trounced Notre Dame 35 to nothing. And what Spartan fan can forget the opening play from scrimmage for the green and white? as fullback Dick Pannon exploded through a big hole and galloped 88 yards for a touchdown before 51,000 screaming fans. It was a big victory, and the third in a winning streak that reached 28 before it was finally ended. The Spartans have a long roster of All-American players, from Lynn Chadnoy, Sonny Grandelius, Leroy Bolden, Earl Morrill, Sam Williams, George Sines, and pictured here, little Sherman Lewis, a great runner. Back in the early 50s, there was John Coleman, a tackle who weighed only 178 pounds. But watch him as he comes up with the big defensive play. As Michigan State approaches the start of the 1965 season, head coach Duffy Doherty is confident that green and white will be improved over a sixth-place finish of last year. We are rather cautiously, or should we say hopefully, optimistic we realize we have a lot of problems to resolve before our opening game on September the 18th against UCLA, but we do feel that we'll be stronger physically, and with the new rule changes, the further liberalization of the substitution rule, we feel that some of our inexperienced boys will fit in more readily than they would have under the more restrictive rules. And the educational growth of Michigan State has kept pace with its athletic achievements. Michigan State had an inauspicious beginning in 1857 when a small group gathered at College Hall for the dedication ceremony. It was just a tract of timberland with only one acre full cleared. The students were not entirely satisfied with campus life in those days. They were especially upset because 21 meals a week cost $2. From the original 700 acres of bog, the Michigan State campus has now expanded with missions in Okinawa, India, Colombia, and Brazil. Today, Michigan State is one of the 10 largest universities in America with an enrollment of 36,000 students. <laughs> Stretched along 570 acres of the Red Cedar River, from Beaumont Tower to the new complex of dormitories, Michigan State has never abandoned the traditional role of a land-grant college. Today, MSU has first-rate schools of agriculture, veterinary medicine, as well as schools of education, engineering, arts and science, business, and public service. The growth of Michigan State physically and educationally has been tremendous, a far cry from the humble beginning that started over 100 years ago. <laughs>